It's Match Week Kickoff, I'm Duke Keith, as Locomotive FC returns to action versus Red Hot RGB Toros FC, a battle of undefeated teams. Yeah, technically, technically. Locomotive FC, of course, rescuing that point at the death, but let's not quibble. RGB Toros FC, though, under returning coach Wilmer Carrera, off to a flying 3-0 start. 1-0 wins over New Mexico United at the death versus San Diego Loyal, and a win over San Antonio this last week, albeit all games played in the Valley. This will be their first road game. But to look at RGV under Cabrera is to see a team that likes to play out of the back, likes to move the ball from side to side, loves to have possession, doesn't score bangers, they just score winners. Remind you of a team you know, Locos fans? Yep, you guessed it. But if they want the full three points, they're going to have to do it without Logan Ketterer, who finds himself on an emergency loan to Portland Timbers. Oh, you know, merely shutting out San Jose. Clean sheet, penalty kick save on the most prolific goal scorer in MLS history. Just a typical Logan Ketterer kind of night. For his part, head coach Mark Lowry insisting this is just an emergency loan. It's going to be over at some point. You just do get the impression, with all due respect to Logan, that Coach Lowry would like that to be ASAP. Because we think it's a good thing for Logan. We think it's a good thing for the club. Um, and like I said, we wouldn't have done it if, it, if, if this was going to affect our season long term. We wouldn't have done it. Um, it to win games as well, obviously. Locos fans, I think we all knew this was going to kind of be a little longer than maybe just this last weekend. Enter Ben Bury, former Reno 1868 keeper, spent last season on loan from New Mexico United, where he was Cody Mizell's backup in 2019. Ben Bury gives up a little bit in terms of height when you look at the tail of the tape, but he's a couple of years younger than Logan, celebrating his 25th birthday just this last week, and he certainly has a pep in his step, as you see with some of these outstanding saves versus Sac Republic last year. New rules at Southwest University Park. If you have your shot, forced to mask up, you are not. Vaccines.gov to find out what vaccines are available and where you can get them in El Paso. Certainly hope to see you out at Southwest University Park Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. kickoff, but if you can't be there, join my broadcast partner, Heidi Mocha and me. We'll have the call for you on your El Paso, Las Cruces, CW, or if you're out of the area, on ESPN+. Until then, vamos, no